Looks like Burns on the play here. So we'll see how quick Collins can be. No ley line to worry about, thankfully, for him as he searches up a sacred foundry. Well, yesterday when we talked to Chris Van Meter, he said the important flash points mana-wise are six and nine. Six allows you to cast Primeval Titan, also allows you to cast Hive Mind. Nine mana allows Teleria West for Summoner's Pack to find Primeval Titan. Correct. Monastery Swift Spear is how Collins will start things off. He'll put Cohen down to 19. We will head Cohen's way. Cohen will take a draw. Does have a copy of a Sufa in hand. Picked up a copy of Basic Force for his draw step. Looks like he has a Hive Mind in hand, so perhaps that's what he's going to be working towards. Is there's a copy of a Sufa, it's going to copy Sacred Foundry. And pass the turn back over to Mullen. Mullen picked up a copy of Wooded Foothills for the turn. And Justin with Summer Bloom in hand, which to me is the most important card for Amulet in this matchup. Absolutely. Once Justin gets out in front in terms of mana, he can start doing some really powerful stuff. Postport even has copies of Thrytusk, which are good enough to win the game a, a healthy percentage of the time. But if, he start, is, if it starts a little bit on the slower side, that's where Burn can get the turn four kill on the play before he really gets set up. A mountain there for Mullen off of Wooded Foothills. He goes down to 16. And this is another matchup where his life total doesn't seem to matter all that much. No, when he's dead, he's way past dead. Yeah, there's no race in here. You got any molten rains hanging out over here? You're looking for molten rains. Huh? Molten rain. Uh, you and your land destruction. No, no molten rains, unfortunately. Here's a rift bolt on suspend. Here comes old Swifty. And now a passing of the turn. And now we begin to figure out the puzzle. That's what Justin's trying to do. He was good enough at a pro tour to do it to get second place. Come up, came up one match short. However, twin is what he lost in the finals, and that doesn't come as much of a surprise because that matchup is terrible. He'll start by playing a copy of Ancient Stirrings. And if he's playing Ancient Stirrings this turn instead of Summer Bloom, to me it implies he's got to be really light on just total lands in hand. Yeah. May not have many copies of Bounce Lands. Did find a copy of Gruel Turf within that Stirrings. Not sure if that's the land that he wants, but that's an option here for Justin. And he will take Gruel Turf. So he's found a Bounce Land. Perhaps that's what he was missing. And it looks like he may have a copy of Amulet of Vigor in hand, so we'll see if he wants to deploy that right now, too. A naked Amulet there is pretty risky against Burn because of Destructor Revelry. Inclined to agree. So you kind of want to play and get one big burst. Lightning Bolt to draw here for Mullen. You saw his Rift Bolt come off of Suspend. A couple copies of Lightning Bolt over there. He's got a pretty fast hand. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of pressure on Justin next turn to either get to a castable Leyline of Sanctity or do something powerful, either killing Collins or gaining a bunch of life. I don't think Justin's going to get to turn four. There's, a lot, of there's a lot of pressure on Justin next turn to do something big. Here comes Swift Spear. Just an attack for one. Feels like a pretty honest turn at this point. There's a suspend of Rift Bolt. Pass the turn back with Destructive Revelry at the ready. Yeah, this is a nice setup here. Two Lightning Bolts as well. Justin tries to do something uh, big with an, with an amulet this turn. Justin's got a uh, Collins, rather, has an answer to it. And if Justin doesn't do anything, I think he's looking at lethal. Primeval Titan the draw here for Cohen. Here's a copy of Amulet. That will resolve. Gruel Turf. There'll be a trigger for that to untap because of the Amulet. That will untap. Gonna float some mana, then pick that up from the trigger. That makes you return a land. Now here's a copy of Summer Bloom. So Cohen's looking to go nuts. And for Collins. Now it seems like a time to stop this. That is the best idea you've ever had. Destructive Revelry is going to take care of Amulet of Vigor in response to Summer Bloom. 
You can't let him go crazy. Two damage will be dealt from the revelry too, so if Summer Bloom is done resolving. Cohen's down to 12. I think there's a pyroclasm in Justin's hand, but assuming that Collins announced the prowess trigger, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, which I hope for his sake he did. And with two bolts in Collins' hand, on top of the rift bolt plus the prowess triggers, there's a lethal next turn. Mm -hmm. There's Gavner Souls. We'll see what that's naming. I'd be surprised if it wasn't giant, given the primeval titan in hand. There's Gruel Turf. That's land at number two from the Summer Bloom. But That'll no cheats up. this turn. Yeah. That'll pick up Vesuva, it looks like. I have a Nicarlac Radiant Fountain for Justin to put into play. Gain some life. He's playing some relatively honest magic with his Amulet Bloom deck right now. Yeah, this is the type of hand I think where next turn Justin would be able to do some real fireworks. But I, I think without Amulet, he might be dead ended here. I think so. Vesuva's going to copy, it looks like, Gruel Turf. Which will cause Justin to pick up his cavern souls. And now Justin has to hope that he's not dead. But as we mentioned, you can. He's got high mind plus summoner's pact. He has a kill, but it's just not going to happen, don't I think. Th don't think he's going to see another turn. Rift Bolt's going to trigger. Prowess will trigger as well a monastery split spear. Mullins will take a draw. Copy a stomping ground. Oddly enough, he could actually pay for the summoner's yeah. pack now. <laughs> now it's not a kill, but... Yeah, which is very rare, as there's a lightning bolt that's going to go upstairs. How about another lightning bolt that's going to go upstairs? You mentioned it's going to be lethal, and it will be lethal, and that's going to get the job done. Collins Mullen is going to take care of Justin Cohen here. A little bit of an upset here in our feature match area. Burn going to take care of Amulet Bloom, and for Mullen, he's going to move on to 4-0. Oh. Destructive Revelry is a really important card for burn in the format. This is one of the top reasons why. Gives you a game against Leyline Sanctity, allows you to blow up an amulet. Uh, Justin's hand was capable of some serious action there. I think maybe even a kill there on that third turn. Yep. The amulet was a lot of stick. 